What's going on, you fam? Raiden here. Uh, as you guys may remember in the video today, I asked if you guys wanted to see my Extreme Legends Battle Royale thing, Fortnite, I don't know, matches. Uh, and you guys said yeah, so I figured why not, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, when I uploaded the video though, I missed a time slot and the next available time slot was about... At the time of making this video, like 30 minutes ago, so... I got all my matches out of the way and I figured why not share it with you guys. So here's the first match of the video against a completely sort of random team. I feel like not a lot of people are taking this event seriously right now so it's very rare that you come across someone with an actual well structured extreme team. So for my team I'm going to be using the androids just because they're the best sort of uh, they're the best extreme team that I had right now. I would I guess maybe my female warriors would be better but uh I didn't want to go through the hassle of leveling them up and soul boosting whatever. My androids were already ready for that, so I figured I'd just go ahead and use them. Now for this video, I didn't... I kind of just did it all in one shot. I just went straight for it. Uh, no no sort of like ending the recording and then starting a new one. I decided I'd just get all three videos. Not all three matches, all in one thing. So, so far our match is going pretty good for us. I don't think his team is well structured or anything like that, so, I mean, um, yeah, it was a uh, relatively quick and simple victory, I guess. I, I, I feel like that sounds pretty rude to say, actually, but, uh, yeah, a lot of people are kind of just doing this event just for the fun of it or whatever. They're not really thinking too much of it, so I haven't really come across any serious opponents just yet. Uh, minus the female warriors team I faced yesterday, hence why I lost. Uh, kept getting those green cards, those pesky green cards of my so annoying. So uh, yeah, I get my rising rush on his Nappa, which is always nice. Things are looking good. He was the only he was the only real unit I had to worry about, uh, just because he had type advantage over my one of my units. Uh, I catch him with the shoulder tackle, quickly get priority again, so, you know, things are looking quick and easy, I guess, I don't know. Uh, I, the reason why I did all these videos all in one, I keep saying videos, the reason why I did all these matches in one take was uh, sort of to test out how my phone could handle, you know, broadcasting to my computer and my, rec my computer doing the recording, because I want to see what my phone is capable of, uh, what it, you know, what strength it has left in its last legs. So, hopefully these are fine. Uh, so we get the win, and now we're searching for our second match. Uh, it's actually pretty quick, and surprisingly enough, I didn't have the matches weren't that laggy. They weren't they weren't that bad. Pleasant surprise. Now uh, here's another team. It's sort of androids. Uh, I'm not sort of uh, that Vegeta's buff in the purple units and uh, he has trunks in there as well but it's a mainly androids but the one android that would uh, counter my androids was the uh, uh, oh god this is Dr. Shiro Android 20? yeah I think so I don't know I don't remember off the top of my head uh, so but I noticed that he's only level 2000 so I can go ahead and start with my purple unit first just patiently waiting for him to choose his team. Uh, I don't know why people wait so long to choose their units, just... I mean, just choose them. What are you waiting for? Now, someone in the comment section said that sometimes people wait just to throw you off your game so you think that it's a bot, just for them to get priority. Uh, that's kind of crazy to me. The lengths people go to just to get priority. Just, just get better at the game. Just... I don't know. Improve your skill. The lengths people go through to avoid having to get better at the game and learn new mechanics. Uh, I was worried it'd be a little bit of a laggy match because I loaded in so quickly first. And uh, our opponent, I don't know his or her name because that's a foreign language. Took, uh, took a while to uh, choose his or her team and load in. So I was worried that it would maybe end up in another draw. They really got to fix that. I, I think it's ridiculous that they end in draws. We start with a type advantage, he uses a tap attack when I vanish, which is okay. Goes in for another tap attack, so at this point I know that my opponent is one of those guys that will always tap attack after vanish, anytime they're close. So, 
And that's something that I keep in mind as the match goes on. He can go ahead and use all those cards on my yellow unit. I'm not even worried. I go in for my tap attack to see it, what he's going to do. But instead, he didn't tap attack, so I went ahead. Get some really nice damage off. Uh, the, these, uh, these two are my top priority to get rid of. Uh, I'm not too worried about the Trunks, rather, because the Trunks is not being buffed that well uh, on this team, so I can take advantage of that. Getting some decent damage on me, but that's okay. Gets priority, not too worried about it. Gets his Rising Rush off on my Android 16. And that's okay, uh, because I have type advantage and I'm able to handle all the damage, which is good, because now his or her Rising Rush is out of the way, which is good in my case. Got type advantage. I'm saving the Rising Rush for... Um, uh, just because he might swap into... Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. I didn't want to waste my Rising Rush on a unit that was already half dead. I wanted to take out one of these guys. One of the units on the bench. I thought I could have dodged that, but it didn't let me. Android 18 doing some great damage. I'm going to use her for the Rising Rush here, so I'll catch my opponent. She can do more than enough to take out Trunks, especially without him getting buffed very well on this team. He matches my Rising Rush though, unfortunately, but I'm still not worried. Uh, even though he has two purple units, which may not look good because Android 17 would take would be at a type disadvantage, I'd still be okay. I still have Android 16 here. Oh, and uh, because I'm using OBS, I got to see someone subscribe, so thank you, Kid Q, for subscribing. I feel like a lot of those are going to pop up in the middle of uh, any time I do these recordings. So Trunks is out of the way, things are looking good. Gotta swap out to protect Android 16, because I'm going to need him for Android 18. He gets priority, but that's not a problem. That screws up his sidestep there, which is good for me. Brings in Android 18, not too worried. Still doing some really good damage. Didn't use 17's main ability, so I figured I'd just pop it here in case he gets priority if I goof. But all is good. And then I just catch him on the sidestep here. And then take care of Android 17. So that's the second ma a second victory. Uh, you know what sucks? They they really nerfed the rewards this time. I wasn't it like a hundred chrono crystals for every win. Now it's like maximum you can get is only what three hundred I think. Kind of sucks that they're nickel and diming these events so much. I guess they realized like oh it's too much chrono crystals. Take it away. Don't give them any. It feels like they're always gonna give out. They're never gonna give enough to do a multi summon. They always want to give you just portions. They never want to give you enough. And here's the third and final match of the video against another sort of uh, Saiyan team. I I don't really know. Don't don't really know what the team is. Hence why I start out with Android 17 there. He has no purple units, so I can safely start with 17. But because he has yellows, I didn't want to start out with 18. Loading in, loading in. Yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah. I think it's fine. I'll just keep it in. Just do it all in one take. Screw up, we'll do it live. Starts with this Piccolo. That's, this is pretty meta. Uh, this was. Actually, no, this is the Piccolo, not from that moment. I wanted to make sure I protected uh, Android 17, because I'm going to need him for this one. No one has any sort of type advantage over him. 
yeah, these uh, today's matches weren't uh, too bad. They weren't too tricky. Uh, faced relatively simple teams. Take out the Goku. Uh, I think it's mainly because a lot of people don't. Uh, a lot of people don't bother to soul boost and stuff their extreme units. So they're always they'll be left in a position like this. I really like Android 16's ability because you know sort of led on to my rising rush here. But yeah, I feel like the reason why I'm not facing too many good teams is because uh, not a lot of people are paying attention to their extremes. So they just sort of make a half baked team because it's all they really got. Because I noticed all the teams that I have are usually just units people put as uh, I don't know a placement or a replacement for a slot just to buff a certain tag. And that is the final match. Uh, I won all of them this time, which is always nice. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow, I'll let me know if you guys actually like these. I'll do it again tomorrow. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.